Good morning, noon, and night. My name is Equa, and welcome to my channel. Today, I have an early 2000s lookbook inspired by the Milk Club. If you haven't seen her video about the early 2000s, check it out. Link in the description. The early 2000s has been touted as the worst era for fashion, but I couldn't disagree more. It's complete admiration for brand consciousness, unnecessary accessories, and unconventional silhouettes and proportions is what makes this era so great. So put on your apple bottom jeans, the boots with them fur, and enjoy this nostalgic ride. The first look to start off the early 2000s are dungarees. This baggy fit was a residual trend from the 1990s. I coupled these overalls with the second trend of the 2000s, the East Asian motif. I feel like this top will be very problematic in today's day and age with the increasing concern on cultural appropriation, but back then, this was a very popular thing. Ah, super kawaii! The second look is a bit more street, for lack of a better word. In the early 2000s, wearing sports jerseys was a trend, especially if they were bodycon. Here I have a knockoff Lakers jersey, and don't forget the beauty supply hoops, especially if they have your name on them. Sadly, I was unable to find a whole lot of beauty supply stores near me that still sold them. My third look was the polo trend. Tommy Hilfiger was a thing in the 1990s, but if you wanted to look fly in the 2000s, Ralph Lauren and US polo was where it was at. In this look, I have my baby blue polo dress and my light green cardigan. In the early 2000s, it was customary to wear your cardigans and jackets tied around your waist. I assume it has to do with the fact that people wore so many low-rise pants. Or you could go for a more preppy look by tying it around your neck. I can't even tell you how much I was clowned for wearing off-brand polos as a kid. Whether it was dresses, shirts, no matter where you were from, you were appropriating golf culture. I assume it had something to do with the status. That's why it's so popular. I have to get to the new Beverly Hills Mall right away. The future of shopping depends on us. My fourth look is an example of the extreme brand consciousness that existed in the early 2000s. I am wearing a muscle tee, Burberry top, Burby during this time was an extremely um, counterfeited item, just like Ralph Lauren, and also a Ralph Lauren skirt with logos everywhere. But if I was really going to be accurate with this look, I would have worn a, the brand head to toe, like Burberry head to toe or Ralph Lauren. What's your persona about this Americana? Rhyma and my shadow, cause all my clothes designer. Uh. The fifth look is what I'd wear on a date in the early 2000s, if I was old enough. A silk burgundy halter top and a low rise bell bottom jeans. This is an example of the unusual silhouette of the era. These bell bottom jeans had an interesting way of making you look wider and shorter. And they were usually coupled with high heels.
My sixth and last look of this era is the beginning stages of the emo scene subculture. Punk was really mainstream in the early 2000s. It was popularized by Avril Lavigne and a lot of artists like her. And e the emo scene look was a combination of Japanese kawaii and also US punk influences. And in middle school, I definitely identified with a subculture. Sadly, I don't have any photos of me during this era to prove it. In this look, I am wearing a striped top, which is very punk, um, black skinny jeans, a dark top. Usually it would be like a band tee, like My Chemical Romance or something, and these creepers. During this time, creepers were quite popular Doc Martens and Daphne Converse's were the shoes of this era. Game over. So that's it. That's the end of this video. Please subscribe and also let me know what trend from the early 2000s would you like to see a com have a comeback. For me, it's uh, golf clothes. <laughs> um, but yeah, so subscribe, like, and until next time, bye.